Mark Price, uh, of course, made us laugh as his role as Skippy on Family Ties. He's teaming up with uh, veteran Joe Cash now for uh, Fight for Laughs. It's a great organization. Mark, what made you want to partner with Joe and other veterans out there for a good time? Uh, well, it, first of all, I just want to, the weed guys. I met the weed guys backstage. <laughs> okay. And they made a suggestion because, you know, they want to make money in the business. All right. I told them people get the munchies okay. when they smoke, and they should open up a combination weed store ice cream parlor. Okay, right next door. And they can call it Cold Stoned. That's a good idea. Mark, you're going to make on. some money now. The green Come rush. On. I'm in. <laughs> there you go. Joe Cash Now. <laughs> Speaking of Cash Now, there cash we go. Cash Now. See? <laughs> is uh, somewhere in your family, there's a mafioso. Give me yeah. the Cash Now. <laughs> Name him that. Right. And uh, Joe is the star of, and with Chico. Oh, yeah, by the way. Chico's, we have a, we have a I, I called here. Joe the star. Chico called that out right away. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm the star. Uh -huh. uh, Joe is the star of the movie Comedy Warriors Healing Through Humor. He's the poster boy for yeah. it. Yeah. And Joe, your story, you were, uh, first of all, thank you very much for your service, of thank course, you. to our country. Served in Iraq right when that war was starting in 2003, the second Gulf War, as I guess you'd call it. Tell us your story. I went to Iraq in um, April of 2003. Chico's going to bark for a while. That's okay. Um, I went to Iraq in April. April, uh, I was there until September when I was injured by a roadside bomb. He's okay. the worst service dog. No, the there's no such thing as a bad service Come dog. Come here, you. She's just test he's just he, testing. He's just, he just wants some attention. Yeah, exactly. Um, we have that in common. But, it's all uh, good. <laughs> So 2003. You don't, yes. you don't usually hear somebody telling the story about their roadside bomb while laughing. Well, yeah, we are well. off the rails here, everybody. It was it was a very funny story. It got me right into comedy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> no, but you mentioned. I mean, you obviously were injured in the war and uh, came home. That transition must have not been the easiest thing. But laughter, service talk, that sort of thing. Is that what helped you kind of get through? Laughter definitely got me through. A, not the a service great deal dog. Of it. Yeah. Um, right. The service dog didn't come until later. Uh huh. Um, but laughter absolutely got me through when I was in the hospital and talking to the the doctors about well if. I am fitted with a prosthesis. Can I get one with a secret cookie compartment? You know, and things like that. <laughs> Did they work that out for you? Or no, no, they sent me to psych. Oh, okay, exactly. All right, so the show tonight, what can, you, what can people expect for? I mean, it's, it's jokes like this. It's well, about... Well, I don't know about that. When okay. people ask what can they expect, we say, not a refund. Okay. <laughs> And then we point out that if you're a veteran, you're welcome to join us for free. You're our honored guest. We right, want to absolutely. salute and support all the veterans. How did you get connected with veterans? And, and not just Veterans Day week, which it is now. We do right. that year round, by the way. We and do that year round. Do you have connection to military members in your family or like that you are connected with and that's how you got to do it? I was in Nam. Um, Okay. No, okay. I wasn't in that. At the time, I was, so. in, I was in mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it was a hell of a battle getting out of there. I'll never forget. <laughs> but uh, no, unfortunately, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's fortunate for me. Yeah. I haven't ever had to deal with anything even yeah. close. And it's well, an amazing thing. You I, know, comedy's hard, but war. I think there's a lot of us that have never been through that sort of thing. My grandfather served in World War II. I think that's a pretty common thing. We all have uh, people that have done that. But if you're not from the military family, it's hard to kind of have those conversations with veterans, especially veterans that are coming home uh, with injuries as well. The divide between civilians and the military. And I think comedy is a great way to kind of breach that Absolutely. and have real conversations. Absolutely. Comedy is it, it's a way to to, to, to to broach many subjects like mm -hmm. that. Um, but then it also, when you have people that have injuries and they can make fun of them, it makes people much more comfortable with it as well. Yeah. All right, so the details. Veterans get in for free tonight, right? Rosemont Zanies. And everything else going well? Still We're living 30, the life? 30 living 30 the cities. dream? I'm on the map of the Stars Homes in Hollywood. <laughs> hey! I, I, I don't know how they know where I park my RV. <laughs> That's great. All right, you can catch Mark and Joe this evening at Zanies for tickets. Wait, is uh, Chico going to be there too? Yes, Chico is. Chico be juggles. There. Chico's the robot. <laughs> That's a real star. He juggles All right. cats. Yeah. He juggles cats. <laughs> Head over to rosemontzanies.com.